Our group is called Gim Yukai, and Gim means string, like the string of the Sansu, and Yu means friend, and Kai means group or organization. The annexation of Okinawa by Japan created this relationship where Okinawa is, has been somewhat colonized. And so Okinawa has been the poorest prefecture of Japan. And so because of the poor conditions, Okinawans had to leave Okinawa. And I didn't learn Japanese until I went to Japan when I was 20. And I studied Japanese there. And I went back to Hawaii and went to Okinawa and learned the uh, sanshi for the first time. I had no intention of doing sanshin, but after sitting there a few times, Wesley just handed me a sanshin, and I had no intention, but anyway, that started. The thing is that he would t started talking out of the blue sky about this project of this mine that, sh that she saw, that he had been thinking about, and he asked if I would paint the head, and I said, wow, that's so great. I said, of course, I'd love to. Every Friday, we're putting together an Okinawan lion costume. So we get together and work on that uh, at one of our members' art studio. So these events bring us together where we can work together, talk together. Shisa is um, a lion dance, and it's to get rid of the evil or bad luck. And I think it's really significant that we, we produced a cultural artifact here in the Bay Area. Because a lot of times we're very passive about culture. We let other people create it for us. But with the Shisa, we're, we're creating our own culture and we're doing it as a community. Here, the way it's different from Sanshin or Isa groups in uh, Okinawa or Japan is that we're a lot less formal and probably a lot less hierarchical. And the way we address each other is not like in Japan where you use honorific Japanese or Okinawan to talk to the sensei. So we're a lot more laid back here. Our emphasis is on building a wider community of people more than just Okinawans, more than just Japanese, 